Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because I am back with another menstrual product review. A lot of you guys have been asking me for the last like, well since I started doing videos like this, so three, four years. Has it been that long? Wow. I've had a lot of periods with you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking me for the, since I started doing these product reviews to find a more affordable cup for you. So today's video is being sponsored by none other than the Venus Cup. They were so kind to want to partner with me and work together to do this review and it means the world to me because as you guys know, I've been struggling to find a place for these types of videos online just because even though I find them educational and worthwhile, and I know a lot of you guys do, n not necessarily do all of these platforms that I post these videos on. So it's really awesome to have the support of companies like the Venus Cup to be able to bring videos like this to you guys while staying free for you guys to view. So thank you so much Venus Cup for wanting to partner with me today. I gotta tell you guys, in regards to affordability, this cup hits the nail on the head. You can get either one of these small or the large, I believe, for under $20 on Amazon right now. If you wanna try out the starter kit, you can get that one as well for a very affordable price on Amazon. It comes with a size large and a size small. I know a lot of you guys prefer to go this route, and I, when it is an available or an option, always do myself and always encourage other people to as well. Not just because it can be hard to figure out what size fits you best, but also because you'd be surprised that sometimes these small and the large of brands can fit you and work really well for you depending on your flow or where your cervix is sitting during your cycle. So with the Venus Cup, the starter kit is definitely a great option to go to, especially because you get a better deal on buying both of these and you have a better chance of it working for you. Um, but this is a very affordable cup for those of you who have been asking me to do a review on a cup under 30 to $40. I'm very excited about this cup. When they first reached out to me, I was very underwhelmed by this product, I'm not gonna lie. In regards to cups, I feel like at this point, I've seen them all, I've used them all. There's really nothing that really shocks me or surprises me anymore when it comes to cups. But when they approached me and I looked at their website, I kind of was like, mm, I don't know, but the price really got me. I got really excited to see that how affordable it was and that again, it was available on Amazon. Um, it's made out of 100% medical silicone, just like other cups that I've reviewed. Uh, it's a large capacity, very large capacity cup. The size large holds more than the Super Jenny. It holds more than the Flex cups. It holds more than the Diva cup even. It is quite large as you can see. The shape of the cup itself if I had to compare it to another cup, I thought it immediately reminded me of the Flex Cup, which I hate throwing that name out there, but it did in regards to how bowl and cup shaped. It doesn't really have a lot of curve to it, um, which just reminds me of the Flex Cup. I apologize, I'm being super distracted by my voice right now. As you'll see with the clips where I showed myself using this cup while on my period, which there are only, I believe, one or two clips of that because A, I had a very short and light period, which I'm not sure if it's because of this, but I won't say that it's not. But because I was deliriously sick with the flu, for the last week, as some of you guys know. So I had super high fevers during the testing of this cup, and I gotta say, like, spoiler alert, I was very thankful to have this cup at that time. Uh, I was sleeping 12 to 14 hours a day, um, and for days on end while testing this cup out. So I don't even know if I make sense in any of those clips. Uh, I think I was, I like had fever dreams during that point as well. So hopefully I have some good footage for you, but my voice is like in and out kind of icky because I am still getting over being sick. But anyways, this is a very large, large, large capacity cup. It's going to hold a lot for those of you who keep asking me to find a cup that doesn't have to be emptied over and over and over again for those of you who have a heavy flow. It is not super tapered at the bottom. Like I said, it doesn't have much of a curve to it. It is what you see. And I thought this would be an issue for me and my body, but it wasn't. Now in regards to what you get with your cup, you get the basic pouches. These are very just basic. They're a white, thicker, linen-y, um, textured 
pouch. It says Venus Cup on the outside. They're white. It would be nice to have this pouch in kind of a darker color just because white gets really dirty in my bathroom, uh, just kind of hanging around, but it's not the end of the world. This is a very affordable cup. So in regards to all the frills, I would rather have more of an affordable cup than all the fancy frills and stuff like that. That bag is gonna work the same way as every other bag does. I do like the thickness of the bag. It doesn't feel flimsy, so it's gonna be durable. It's gonna last you just like hopefully the cup will itself. In regards to the cup, other than being high capacity, uh, you're gonna have two different length stems. On the larger one, obviously you don't need a super long stem because it is gonna be longer. This high capacity cup or the size large was actually too big for me. The small fit perfect for me. It was perfect. I'm just going to say that. Uh, the stem, I utilized it a lot more than I thought I would. Easy to grab onto. I will say that I'm not sure what the longevity of it is, but in regards to what I needed it for, it worked really well. I didn't have to trim it at all. At the base, instead of the usual ridges that are circles around to, you know, feel for the bottom of the cup or to grab onto, you have almost like a lotus kind of intricate design at the base um, where it's kind of raised so you can feel it and grab it. Now this compared to a lot of other cups I've done reviews on is not super duper pronounced. So for those of you who have issues with the ridging at the bottom of the cup interfering or irritating the opening, this might be a great option for you. Um, while it still helps at being able to grab for your cup to get it, to get traction um, when you're pinching at the base, it's not overly pronounced so it doesn't irritate or rub anywhere and it is a little bit smoother and softer than the normal ridging on the bottom of other cup bases. Inside the cup, you do get your measurements. I know a lot of you guys really like knowing how much you're bleeding throughout your cycle. The large capacity one, you get a 15 and a 25 milliliter hash mark on the inside of the cup. I believe this cup holds up to like 40 something milliliters altogether from the bottom to the top of the rim. Let me double check real quick. Yeah, it holds 47 milliliters, which is huge. That's more than the Super Jenny. That's more than the Diva Cup. That's more than the Flex Cup. Um, so if you're a very heavy bleeder, um, this would probably be a really great option for you. The small, even though it's smaller, still does hold up to 29 milliliters from the top to the rim, which is still a very nice capacity for a smaller cup. And even though it holds quite a bit more than the smaller size of the Flex Cup, it is still smaller from top to bottom, which is really, really nice because as you guys know, with the Flex Cup, the issue that I had was that the it was so long and it wasn't tapered that I could feel it at my opening sometimes when it came to the bigger cup, but the smaller cup didn't hold as much blood as this one. So both of these sizes I think will be really nice and functional for people who are looking for a cup for with more capacity or to be able to wear longer at a time. Um, like I said, when I tested this out, I was in bed sleeping sometimes 14 hours at a time straight. I believe one of the nights that I used the cup, I ended up sleeping all night and all day and then finally remembering that I had the cup in and then emptying it. So not something I would suggest doing, but I was fine with this cup in for that long. Like I said, I did take some shots while I was doing on my period of myself using this cup. Again, I am probably delirious in these posts and I know I look like a hot, hot mess. Don't judge me, but you guys like the real, and this is the real real of me uh, trying this cup for the first time. Um, so I am going to skip to those clips right now for you guys to see. If you are squeamish around blood or you don't wanna see it, skip to the link underneath this video, which will skip you to the end of this video, which I will talk about just my final thoughts and how I really feel about these cups and how they worked for me all together. Again, it's just like one or two clips, I think, just to prove to you guys that it held blood and kind of if I had any spotting or anything like that. I know a lot of you guys like to see the proof and like I said I went at this review the same way I would with anything else which was showing you guys everything. So um, if you don't want to see the bloody details skip to the end and if you want to see them keep watching. Oh this is not a good look for me. So you guys are seeing me right now on my Battery's dead. Hold on. All right, let's try that again. So you guys are seeing me s 
sick. You're seeing me at almost 11 o'clock at night. You're seeing me day one of my period. And you're also seeing me post a double header of soccer. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I played two full games on the big field today and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like poop. Oh, and I am so tired and sore and because I'm sick and feverish right now, which I wasn't feeling before when I was playing, I know, if you've been keeping track of my vlogs, I've been sick a lot lately and I don't know why. Anyways, but you're you're seeing me in a not great light right now. Um, but yeah, today is day one of my period. I did not film putting in the Venus cup just because I had people over here. It just happened so quickly and I just kind of was like, I need to get this in. So to recap on that a little bit, uh, putting it in for the first time was actually really easy. A little bit different though than other cups. Um, I don't usually have to use the stem of other cups to really rearrange it. I can usually just grab onto the bottom and kind of do that. With this cup, however, I really had to utilize the stem and kind of straighten it out for it to pop open, but it didn't take long. Um, it's very comfortable. I've been wearing it for seven hours and I feel pretty good. So I'm going to check on it right now and see what's going on after I go pee. So well, normally I wouldn't show you guys a wipe test after I go to the bathroom the first time um, or I haven't been doing that lately in the videos because I feel like you guys know me by now. You trust me when I say, oh, it's clean. I have no like spotting or whatever. But because this is a sponsored video, I just want to make sure I'm as like honest and upfront with you guys as possible. So you don't think my opinion is skewed or my experience. But like this was my wipe test. As you can see, there's like little to zero like any blood on it if anything it's like dark brown blood which is probably residue from my period underwear that I still have on that I wore before I even put the cup in because my period underwear is completely dry there is no spotting or wetness whatsoever in there there's just old like brown stuff from when I started earlier um without the cup in and again there's no like red bright blood or fresh blood on this wipe so I'm highly impressed because as you guys know, most of the time when I put a cup in for the first time, um, m more likely than not, I do have like a little bit of bright blood just from like either pressing down while I'm peeing or wiping or whatever the reason. So I gotta say I'm pretty impressed as of right now. Um, let me pull down again. Oh, I'm so distracted by how much of a hot mess I look, but First day period, y'all can feel me, right? Like this is just normal. So I have the small Venus cup in. This is how much blood is in there. It's very clean on the outside, minus some dark brown discharge, which was again, already in my vaginal walls to begin with. I'm very impressed. It caught all of the blood. Um, it caught all of the blood. So I'm gonna rinse this out and then I'm gonna put it back in and then I'm gonna take a shower because again, I'm gross <laughs> and uh, go to bed and I will update you guys in the morning but that was a great first tryout slash day with the Venus cup oh my gosh so it's Sunday around noon I've had this cup in for over 12 hours I'm so sick right now but I need to update you guys with the cup I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna go back to bed because I have a really high fever and I just feel awful. <laughs> <coughs> There's the blood. Absolutely no spotting, no leaking happening. Apparently periods don't allow sick days. <laughs> I'll put it back in. Super easy, super quick. I'm going back to bed. 
All right, so if you saw those clips, you saw hopefully that the, this cup worked really, really well for me. I kind of spoiled this at the beginning of this video, but I really, really, really love this cup a lot. This smaller size is what worked really well for me. Um, I loved how easy it opened. I loved the fact that it held, you know, the blood for hours on hours on end. Um, like I said, I fell asleep and slept all day long and then all night long before emptying it one of the times. Um, again, I would not suggest doing that, but the fact that this cup, you know, was comfortable that whole time for me to be sick and, you know, sleep because I needed it without worrying about leaking on my bed or just being uncomfortable in general says a lot. Like I said, I wasn't expecting a ton out of this cup. Like I really was not at all. I'm not one of those people who, I, I try not to be one of those people who is biased by price or, you know, the pretty bells and whistles of websites or, you know, how things look. But I am human and I am like any other consumer where sometimes I do buy in. I buy into, oh, this is fancier so it's more expensive, which means it's better. And I should know better by now, especially with menstrual products, that that is not always the case. And in this case, it's definitely not the case. The price of it being so affordable has nothing to do with, it, with how well it works because this, even though it is more affordable, it is so good. Um, I had no issues with this. If you saw my clips, I had no leaking and I had no spotting whatsoever the entire time that I used this cup. Now granted, I wasn't able to play any sports while I had it in. Um, I put it in right after uh, a doubleheader soccer game that I had because that's when I started my period. Unfortunately, I didn't start it earlier uh, to be able to test it out while being super active. And then, like I said, I got really sick. But this thing saw me through so many different positions in bed because, you know, if you get a fever and you're just achy and you're unhappy and you're hot and you're cold and you're just like a hot mess, you are just, it's like you're pregnant again where you're like, flinging your legs and your body in all different directions and shoving pillows between your legs and like almost like doing back bends to like find a comfortable position and that was me for two days straight and this thing even through all of that like never you know got tilted or did anything funny in me to the point where I was leaking or spotting and all in my period underwear. I could have worn this cup without any backup, which is a huge thing for me to be able to say because you guys know I'm super paranoid and I always, no matter what, wear backups. But if I test this out again while playing soccer and I don't have any issue, this will be the cup that I don't wear anything with because it's amazing. Um, I showed you guys that wipe test. Like I was surprised that like there was nothing there. Like I was genuinely shocked. Like. I for sure thought there would be for some reason. Now I will say, like I mentioned, like I mentioned a little bit ago, it was very easy, easy, easy to put in. I did have to use the stem a lot more than any other cup, uh, just to kind of reorient it, if that makes sense. Um, even though it does pop open very easily, I use the uh, punch down fold because that's my tried and true. Um, a lot of you guys don't understand why I love the punch down fold so much. It's because it's just so good. It not only gives you one of these smaller um, insertion points right here, but then as you're pushing it through, it kind of does the work for you in regards to pushing it open. You just kind of push at the base and it pops open as you're putting it in. Like, I love that fold, it's just great. But this works really well with the punch down fold. And But after you get it in, through the opening of your labia and your vagina to be able to kind of pull it down to turn it so that way it hooks underneath your cervix instead of on the side of the cervix. I had to do that a lot with this cup. And I don't know again if it's the shape and if it's because it goes so up and down like just straight instead of kind of curving in to kind of scoop your cervix if that makes sense or what. But I did have to use this stem a little bit more just to readjust it, but it was almost better. I enjoyed being able to kind of just pull it down and turn it a little bit and just, it was good. I didn't have to trim my stem at all. Um, I actually needed my stem like I just mentioned. I didn't have any issues with it floating or turning or spinning. Honestly, my cervix was really happy inside this cup. Uh, when I was at the beginning of my period and it was lower uh, just because my cervix migrates throughout my cycle, 
it was very comfortable. I could feel my cervix like inside sitting happily and it wasn't squashed or suctioned or anything like that to the point where I was having cramps, which was really nice. Um, I like this cup a lot. I love this cup a lot. I had no issues. Oh, another thing I really loved about this cup that surprised the poop out of me, literally, was that I could poop with this in without at all worrying about it falling out. Like I remember waking up from one of my fever hazes and going to the bathroom and needing to go number two and because I had the flu and just kind of willy nilly just like forgetting the fact that I had a cup in and just was like doing my business. And then it was about halfway through that I was like, oh my gosh, wait, I have a cup in, I need to be careful. And then I realized why I had been Go doing perfectly fine and the cup hadn't budged. Uh, most of the time with cups, I do have to almost hold back a little bit with how much pressure I'm bearing down just because cups will shift no matter which one it is. I've always had cuffs, cups shift and my Lena cup, as you guys know, I think that was the one I pooped out. No, it was the Lunette. It was one of those cups. It was so long ago, but I pooped it out. Uh, but this just like stayed up there like a trooper. It didn't matter. It just was like there to stay until I was ready to remove it. I think this is a really, really, really awesome cup. I have no complaints whatsoever. I love the color of it. I really like the look of it a lot. It's just an all around really good cup. And the box itself is just very like no nonsense, which I really like. There's very minimal anything on it in regards to being able to recycle it later, which I love. There's like one little clear circle sticker that you have to pull off before you can recycle it. But for the most part, it's just a really like, it's, it's a really good product for the especially for the price that they're offering it at. They do also send a user manual that's gonna be in your um, box as well. And this is actually a really, this is a very user-friendly user manual, which I love. Not a lot of, I feel like a lot of the times you get those long pieces of paper that you're like unfolding and looking at like in five different directions. And then you're like English, Espanol, French, like it's just a whole hot mess of a like, whatever, which nobody wants to deal with, especially when they're trying to put their cup in for the first time and they're already like nervous and angry that they're on their period. But it's just a really nicely put together user manual that has a bunch of tips and tricks. It has cleaning uh, methods clearly stated out there for you, how to store it. And then it's got a bunch of different, very nicely illustrated folds for you as well, which I think is just a really great thing to have just as like a, something to refer back to even if you're not using that cup like you can refer back to all of like this plethora of information so there you have it the venus cup um i have no complaints over this cup whatsoever i thought i would i was really hoping i would because i didn't want you guys to think that i was being like super biased or anything like i was searching for something negative to say like I said, the only thing negative I can say is that the pouch is gonna get super dirty in my bathroom because of my makeup and just everything else because it's white. But that's like the only thing I can say that's bad about this. So I really, I really like this cup a lot. I need to say, stop saying like, I really love this cup. I, I love it and I would highly suggest it. Um, I will leave the links for this cup and the starter pack underneath this video. Uh, again, you can get them on Amazon, which I just think is super exciting. I love any time when I can get something shipped super fast and also use like gift cards from like Christmas or my birthday or things like that for them. It's a great cup, awesome cup awesome cup. So they actually sent me some extra cups to share with friends and family and um, I tend to sometimes carry cups on me and I'll randomly give them to subscribers when I run into them. If I have them on me and they ask me about a cup, I usually will pull one out and give them to them. I've given so many strangers cups, it's a little bit disturbing. I wanted to do a giveaway. They didn't ask me to and it's my money for shipping that I, uh, for this. So yeah, if you want to win the starter pack of this cup, leave a comment under this video of your favorite thing about the idea of cups or the favorite thing about cups if you already use one. And I will pick a winner in about a week from today. Um, thank you Venus Cups so much for sponsoring today's video. 
Again, it means a lot to me to have a company support me in what I'm doing. And uh, I love being able to bring you guys this content still. If you guys still enjoy it, let me know because I feel like sometimes I become a broken record, especially when I really love products like this. Do you guys see me progressively getting redder and redder? Like I'm still sick and I'm like trying not to sweat to death, but I feel like I'm becoming a broken record, especially because I haven't been like, oh my God, I hate this product yet to anything. But. I hope this makes those of you happy who are looking for a more affordable cup. I am so happy to have finally found a more affordable cup that isn't from some weird, strange, overseas, you know, company. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, can you test out this weird dollar one that I found on the Wish app? You'll never see me reviewing cups like that or putting that nonsense in my body. I'm sorry, you just won't. Um, I've worked really hard to maintain a good hormonal balance for myself and a good environment down there for myself. So I'm not gonna risk that by using um, possibly dangerous materials in there. So um, it's nice to finally found, find an affordable, easy to get uh, product that is USA made and 100% uh, medical silicone. So. Um, yeah, I hope this helps you guys who are looking for more affordable options for the menstrual cup. Again, thank you Venus Cup for working with me on this. I appreciate it so much. Again, if you wanna enter to win the starter pack, uh, leave a comment below and I will pick somebody in a week or so. This giveaway will be open to I will say USA only residents. I know I apologize for my Canadians and international people, but I don't know how it works to send something like this overseas in, in customs. Um, and I don't really, I don't know how that works. So uh, US only, leave a comment below and thank you for watching as always. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.